there's always that sense of excitement. We go into a car boot. We're going to a car boot which has been closed since what? When would you say? Like October, November? That's right. And it was meant to open a couple of weeks ago, but because of the weather, it's not been great. It's cold because it's the morning, but it's it's like one of those really nice cold days where it's sunny as well. So that good car boot weather. Whether or not it'll translate into people thinking, oh, I can take all my stuff out <laughs> to the car boot today. It remains to be seen. But um, it is like five to seven. Well, there you go. Oh, look at that sun. Gorgeous. Uh, how much are these? Uh, five pounds. Five pounds, okay. How much for your t-shirt? Uh, pound. Pound. On the way to the second car boot now. Uh, the regular, the Hanley, uh, and yeah, we've just been to that one. It was smaller than that, what I thought it was going to be. There was a couple of good things there, and I got a couple of bits. I got one thing that I'm really chuffed about, because I haven't seen it in a long time, and it's worth a fair bit of money, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Okay, Bolo Alert. So this is a Hulk Hogan um, plush. I thought it was the Brawler Basher or the Bash Brawlers, which are like made by Tonka in like the early 90s. And the WWE um, or the WWF, whatever they want to call it, um, the wrestling, they go for stupid money. Here's the Hulk Hogan ones. Like £100 for a plush. Like, And these have got, got decent selfie rate. Um, yeah, and I, my heart nearly jumped out of my chest. <laughs> about this one but it's not the same one it's the it, this one's like a fluffier kind of plush it's not like a like a poly, polyester kind of nylon-y kind of plush which is what the brawlers are they have redone a few uh for more modern markets but the 90s versions goes for stupid money just check them out on ebay do the comps they're insane <laughs> <laughs> so these are what five mm. if you take all together we change the price yeah yeah I'm trying to think I've never had a reaction. I don't even need that one. Oh, cool. How much for him? Ten pounds. 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 Ten poun
goes to charity. Ooh. It's a puzzle, so you take it apart and have to put it back together. It's difficult, it's good. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. I can put pieces on. I want to put my son in Yes, it'll keep him busy. It's good. Right, I'll go and grab some more hangers and yes. make, make you some room. Yes, please. <laughs> Look, weirdly, I was actually looking for hangers. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> By invitation three, only. Three, so fifty pence each. Three. So you've got three, four pounds all together. Those are heated goldless there in that blue basket. Size eleven, UK ten. That are cool. Uh, how much them? Yeah. How much? Tariq. Oh, ten pounds. Absolutely knackered. It's now like half nine, and I had to go and get some more money because I ran out of money. But I'm going to show you what I got in a bit. Are we going home, bud? <laughs> it's like, yeah, let me stick my head out the window a bit. Good boy. It's my turn. <laughs> There's mother. She's off. I hope she wants to talk to us. Hang on. Hello. Oh yeah. Look at him sat there like proud as punk. I know, innit? I'll have to go and get some petrol. And then I'll see you guys later. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. See you Bye. Guys later. See you later. <laughs> Look at my goodies. I've got so many goodies in here. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, back from the car boo. And I tell you what, I have had a I've had a really good time at the car boo. Um, I went to two car boots. I went to one which is a little bit out of the way and I haven't been there since like October, November. And I went to my regular which is Hanley and it was really good actually. I spent so much money. <laughs> if you know, you know. So our first things that I got was these. Now they had some lightsabers and I feel like I've missed out on stuff. But then they had these turtles, uh, Ninja Turtle toys and they're like weapons and everything. Yeah. And this is a bow staff. This goes for about 18 quid on its own. But I've seen like collections of the toys and they go for like 30 quid, the collections. Because this is a katana, I know that, and that's a bow staff. Uh, but yeah, so I've got these, they work. And I've got Maui's hook. I need to replace the batteries. But um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So those were a five pound altogether. And I wish I would have just 
got the whole lot and just said, here, how much for the whole lot? So I got this for 50p. It's got a nice water. I've got another one, which is kind of a cheap version. And I've had so many people ask if you've got the rainbow design one. And I was like, no, I don't. Anyway, I found one today. So I can put it up and I can say, yes, I have. <laughs> I got a Kath Kidston bag. Now, it's not just any Kath Kidston. It's Disney and it's Winnie the Pooh. But if I remember rightly, it's a reversible. And it's only a little, like, small little satchel. But look at that. It's a reversible one. For Kath Kidston. And it's fabulous. These go for about 30. If last one I've checked, it's about 30 pound. But it's a canvas one. It's not like the traditional kind of um, PVC one. But yeah, these go for about 30. That I've seen. But I think I'll probably, I paid three pound. I think I'll put it up for 29.99, except anything over 20. To be honest, just to get it gone. Because I don't pick up cath kits and stuff. I only pick up if it's like weird and wonderful. And I've literally, I, I talked about this. I think I talked about this on my live, like yesterday. And I was like, what did I say? I said, oh no, that's it. I think I said something like it's a surf, there was a, we were just going to see like a surf brand or something. I said, oh, Fat Willies, Fat Willies in the UK. And I found a Fat Willies t-shirt. I never find these. Fat Willies t-shirt, Surf Shack. Very, very cool. Uh, like I said, I think, I think the early noughties kind of uh, style, late nineties, early noughties, but yeah. It's just a kind of cool, just a cool, what's it? Cool t-shirt from Falmouth. Little uh, UK surf brand, we love it. That one is classic. I don't think it's worth much, but um, I think that was a pound. It's a, a Ralph Lauren polo custom fit, but look at that. How nice is that? Um, the guy, I bought it and the guy was like, right, I'm gonna take it off Depop now. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, chef made Hello Kitty. Because I'm obsessed with San, San, San Real suits. So going to the Hello Kitty Cafe. I might put this in. I'm going to see how much it goes for. If it's not a lot. I'll put it in the box that I'm making for Angie in the uh, in the US. Um, I also got this. It's just a Simpsons book. <laughs> like cartoon book. Um, this, this is for a charity by the way. I bought this from a, like a charity. That's three for a pound. It's like this is from Designed with Love in Denmark. So it's like a pencil and an eraser, which I thought was quite interesting. It's new, it's brand new. Those two things are new. Now, you're hearing all this clinkly. All of this was a pound. And it's Dudston, and it's this kind of style. It's got like Roman numerals around it. I don't know. But Dudston is, uh, has gone out of business. So they usually do like quite simplistic designs I find Dudson but yeah that's the sugar bowl so I've got like four regulars that I go to who are really good they do me stupid deals on prices um put that there this is a she didn't have a lot she just said I'm doing everything for a quid today she usually charged me about two pound but she has usually really good stuff but uh yeah this is the only kind of like decent stuff and I, I didn't want to hurt my back bending down but yeah it's a, just a Timberland XL grey sweater it's just really nice. And it smell it smells brand new. It does, it smells brand new, not washed. It actually smells brand new and it's super soft. So I don't know if it has been worn. But uh yeah, it's just a simple grey Timberland. This is a Bratz C D player. So it goes down like that. So you, oh fuck. Ooh. So this is a Bratz C D player, but it's also a mirror. Change the CD, listen to some music while you're doing your lippy or your makeup. Yeah, so it's got like some nice kind of fur, faux fur, but it's called, I think it's got it here, Bratz Beauty Boombox. Now I've put that in the eBay and there's no comps, but I put Bratz CD player. It's coming up between 30 and 40 pound. Uh, 2003. It can run on batteries, but he, I said, I was trying to look for a plug. He says, can you find a plug? He said, I can't. Anyway, he got one out for me and it worked, it, it fit in perfectly. So I'm going to check it. Uh, and it was only three pound. It's Elvis, an Elvis push from Graceland. I think there's still a bit of love for um, Austin Butler and the Elvis movie. So these might be the coolest shoes I've picked up ever. They're Vans Iron Maiden. 
Look at that. They're basically new. They are basically new. I think they've probably been worn maybe once, but look. Minimal wear. Perfect. And they're limited edition ankle ones. These are a size 10. A size six and a half on eBay went for, I think it was £85 plus £6 postage. So it went from 90 quid essentially. These are a size 10. I'm going to check. I paid £10 for these. I think I can get, if I put them up for £100, we will see. But these are probably some of the coolest. And uh, look at me spending £10 without a sweat. <laughs> I know. Iron Maiden shoes. Awesome. Bratz CD player. Funky. Dudson collection for a pound. Bargs. Have you seen that? Can you see that? It's it's a T-Rex wall mount. A T-Rex wall mount. It doesn't have any markings on it. I don't know if it's ceramic or resin. It's kind of a bit hard to tell. I think it is ceramic, like porcelain maybe, or what's it? Kind of is hollow, but the detailing is incredible. And I paid up, I paid a tenner, because I think I might keep it. Oh, yeah, I think it's just batteries. The light, There's lights going on inside. Um, I've got one up already. There's the new movie out. This is um, Jack Pacific 2019. So I think it's the last movie, the Godzilla vs. Kong one. So... I've got another one up. I don't, I've forgotten how much to go for now. I think it's like 14, 15 quid. It's only a pound. Sapphire. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. But it has the Omega Ruby 3DS in it. The Omega Ruby. And I was looking everywhere for both of them. But no. <laughs> uh, this one, I think, regularly goes for between 35 and 40 pound just on its own. I don't know how much just a case is worth, but yeah. I'm just using the case for now. And I've also got this Mario 7 3DS. It's there. It doesn't have the books in, unfortunately. But um, yeah. We were going back and forth and there was a few other bits of pieces that I was asking. For, and I asked like oh how much for these four pieces and he said I, was, I said at first he said oh they're five pound each I was like cool um because this trading value I think is 12 pound trading value um yeah so there was a few other bits and then he said I want 30 pound and I was like you said there were five or each and I think if he picked up they said yeah this one is 10 pound I was like oh okay so I did a a bit of a deal I said like oh keep them keep the other ones and I might come back for them next week and we'll work out a price if you bring some more stuff and he said okay so I paid 20 pound overpaid on that but these I've got I've got my money back I've probably I've probably tripled my money on them but it's me I don't buy these sort of things but another cool kind of little bundle cool find I've got these, these Foster Grant Iron Man glasses, brand new with tags. They were a pound each. I've got a couple of uh, clothing bits, but like, I love getting non-clothing bits from the car boot because usually it's dirt cheap and it's just fun and it's so varied and weird. <laughs> but I, I'm buzzing. I've had a good day and hopefully this shit will sell now. If I list it all, it's all got to go. Yes, thank you for watching. You know what to do, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.